We have twelve cookies to divide among four friends. How do we divide them evenly? Splitting it into four groups means that each friend gets a quarter of the cookies, which is one, two, three, three cookies per friend. Twelve cookies divided by four friends equals three cookies each, and we can state it like this. This is our divide symbol. We'd say twelve divided by four equals three. Another way of writing twelve divided by four is the twelve over the four with a line in between. And you may have heard of a fraction. And if you did, then yes, this is a fraction. It's also another way to say divide. Now let's think back to our times tables, and we remember that. Four times three equals twelve. And again, thinking back to multiplication, if we knew that we had four friends, and each friend had three cookies, we recall that we could multiply them to know that we had a total of twelve cookies. Four friends times three cookies per friend equals a total of twelve cookies. So. Division and multiplication are related. In fact, dividing is the exact opposite of multiplying. Let's try a different scenario. If we had three friends this time to divide the cookies among, so we would divide it like this, and each friend would get one, two, three, four cookies, and we can state it like this. Twelve divided by three equals four. Again, another way of writing twelve divided by three is twelve over three, with the line in between. Thinking back to our times tables again, three times four equals twelve, and that makes sense. It's just four times three switched around. If we knew that we had three friends and each friend had four cookies. We can multiply them to know that there's a total of three friends times four cookies per friend equals a total of twelve cookies again. And again, it's clear that division and multiplication are related here. We have four interrelated facts, and we can call this a fact family. There are twelve cookies altogether. And they can be organized as four groups of three, or three groups of four. Within our fact family, we can use multiplication to get the total number of cookies, or if we already know the total number, we can determine how to divide them up into groups 